Hey guys, Andy Sean 45 coming at you. Um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, as I've said in years past, if you're doing any traveling in crappy weather, please be careful. As you guys can tell, I'm back in the car. Uh, but the only reason for that is because this week uh, I've been working some crazy hours for uh, for it being Thanksgiving week, and this is the most convenient time I had to do this video. Now I know this is the Stanford pregame video, but I want to talk about this first because it has to be addressed. We all saw the rankings last night uh, for the the college football playoffs. The committee still has Notre Dame at number sixteen, and I'm going to be straight up honest with you, that is an absolute joke. Now, don't get me wrong, people. I'm not backing away from what I said. The Irish did themselves no favor with that crappy performance up in Ann Arbor. I mean, it's a, it's a sticking out like a sore thumb, rightfully so. So don't think that I'm just backing away from that and just ignoring that. I'm not. What I'm saying is this, and I said this in, I think it was last week's, uh, last week's pregame two for Boston College, or the one before that, I forget. But... There needs to be some accountability on that playoff committee, too. Now, yes, despite, we lost big up in Ann Arbor. It was a shitty loss, to say the least, and that's putting it lightly. But despite that loss up in Ann Arbor, there needs to come a time... And look, when we were first ranked at 16, I could understand that. I could even understand it to a degree when we were there for a second straight week. But there has to come a time where a team does need to be given respect and rewarded for the good things that they do as well. I mean, since that game in Ann Arbor, we've won four straight, three of them in blowout fashion. The close call that we had was against Virginia Tech, but even Virginia Tech is a ranked team now. So, if you want to talk about our record against ranked teams, we've beaten three of them that are currently ranked in Virginia Tech, Navy, and... Um, Oh, who was the other one? USC. USC. And also the Virginia Cavaliers. They were ranked when we played them. So overall against ranked opponents this year, we're 4-2. and two. And obviously the two big ones, Georgia and Michigan, yes, we failed to capitalize on them. Uh, but really the, Mich the Michigan game, that's the worst loss of the two. Georgia, we at least gave them a run for their money. But still, a loss is a loss. I get that. But like I was saying, there comes a time when you, when if you're the committee, you have to start rewarding and giving respect to the teams for the good things that they do. And since that game in Ann Arbor, we've been doing some good things. We are, we've been coming alive. We've been taking care of business like we're expected to do and should be doing. So the fact that we're still at number 16 with a few teams ahead of us, that's an absolute joke. Like three loss Auburn. And don't start with the schedule crap all about, oh, oh, they lost to Georgia, they lost to um, Florida, oh, all these ranked teams, blah, 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 strength of schedule. A loss is a loss. There is no way that a three-loss team should be ahead of us. They shouldn't. It's an absolute joke. I mean, a loss is still a loss regardless of who it is or who it was against. And... At the same time, if they're so good, why didn't they beat one or two of those teams? So, it's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And don't even get me started on Utah. I mean, now granted, Utah, it's not their fault that the, that the Pac-12 sucks this year. But they haven't beaten, let alone even played, a top 25 team. So, it's not right. It's a bunch of bullshit. I mean, right now, at the very least, we should at least be at number 14. Two spots up from where we are now. I'm not saying anything ridiculous like 12 or 11 or anything like that. But, at the very least, we should be at 14. So, again, this committee needs to be held accountable. And, again, teams, despite one bad loss... Teams do deserve respect and credit for the good things that they've done. But, you know, again, I'm not saying that we didn't I'm not saying that we haven't done ourselves any favors with a crappy loss in Ann Arbor. We're not. But with what we have done since then, we need to be credited for that too. That's all I'm saying. And the fact that we're still at 16, haven't moved at all, is an absolute joke. 
So as much as I hate saying this, um, even though it's not official yet, we might as well prepare ourselves for the shitty ass World Camping Bowl down in Orlando. And I might do a separate video on this later, but these lower tier bowl games, can they not have some dignity when they name these things? I mean, come on. But like I said, I'll, I'll probably cover that later. <sighs> but yeah, our shot at uh, the Cotton Bowl, likely dead. Some I saw I saw a few people on uh, some comment sections on message boards and Facebook pages say that, oh, 10 and 2, we're going to go to the Orange Bowl. I don't see how. Now, I don't know if any of you watching have heard the same thing, but how in the hell could we get to the Orange Bowl with all the ranked teams ahead of us? I mean, I know there's a lot of top matchups that, uh, with teams ahead of us that play one another this weekend, but I just don't see it happening. So if someone has an explanation, an explanation of how that's still a realistic possibility, please, I would like to know. <sighs> but, yeah, it's absolute bullshit. Despite, the, despite Notre Dame's shortcomings in uh, big games this year, that committee needs to be held accountable too. And for this, these crappy bullshit decisions to that committee, right at you. So, anyway getting my thoughts out on that again you can you guys can say I'm bitching all you want but I'm being fair and I am addressing Notre Dame's shortcomings and where we where we screwed up as well so I'd like to think I'm pretty balanced and pretty fair with what I'm saying here but um yeah with that said on to the Stanford game and it, this is a real half-assed preview I admit it but there's not much to say haven't won at Palo Alto since 2007 but Stanford is absolute crap this year. Four and seven. Their defense averages giving up 30 points a game. They've really struggled this year. And the, the strategy for this one is simple. The Irish just need to keep doing what they've been doing. Get, in the, get the offense going. Attack quickly. Score quickly. And this one should be no problem. I expect a big win in this one. So, final, even though, even though, I mean... They're down some guys. KJ Costello, their starting quarterback, he's not playing. They're going with the backup. His numbers aren't horrible, but it's just been a down year for David Shaw and the Cardinal. I mean, what more do I need to say, really? We just need to do our thing. Defense has been stepping it up. I think they'll do that. Offense got off to a slow start against BC, but they picked it up. And... I don't see anything different happening this week out in Palo Alto, so I truly believe this is this is the week where we finally get that W and end the, the losing streak out there. So final score prediction, Notre Dame 42, Stanford 17. I know this got this isn't what you guys were expecting out of a preview, and I should probably just should probably just rename the title to uh, something to do with the playoff committee. But you got your Stanford preview half assed as it is, it's in there. So, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Um, more to come later. I can't believe the uh, the regular season has come to an end already. These seasons seem to go by faster and faster, don't they? But um, but yeah. Other than that, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy enjoy the time with your families. God bless. Um, I'm getting ready to go put in an 11 hour shift right now. So on that note. God bless, go Irish, beat Cardinal.